everyone, it's Angie with the Mountain Girl Studio and I'm coming today to do a project share for Tracy Fox for her DT team. And today's kits I use the, this is one of her past kits because um, obviously this is a purple journal. <laughs> and uh, so one of her past kits and then one of the kits she just came out with. So I use the Lorella digital kit and the uh, identification kits and she's Love Junk Journals on Etsy. She also has a Facebook group and a website. And she just came out with her second issue of the Foxy Rag. I was featured in the first um, magazine, so I will have that linked out there down down there below as well. So please go check that out. It is super amazing. It is full of information. The second article you need to go check, or the second issue you need to go get that as well. Uh, with that said, I also um, am doing digital. Um, prints of my work. I am selling them digitally and I just opened an Etsy shop as well. I do have a website. It's the mountaingirlstudio.com. That link is below. And I, like I said, I just opened an Etsy shop as well. So you can either buy my prints through my website or through Etsy. And through Etsy, you get your instant download. Um, with my website, I have to email you that through web transfer to get, um, your item. But I am super excited. So this is my web, my uh, Etsy shop. It's the Mountain Girl Studio. So if you can kind of see that, sorry for the glare. Maybe <laughs> doesn't work too well that way. Um, anyways, you'll find all my prints there. So it's uh, the and then capital M T, smaller case girl and then uppercase studio um, for my Etsy shop. So if you'd be so kind to go over there and check that out or give me a heart and favorite my shop, I would truly appreciate it. I have, these are all hand, mixed media, hand painted prints um, that you'll be receiving and collages in digital form. And so I've got a few collages up there and then um, hand painted prints. These are some scans of my um, books that I've been doing. I scan my, I scan most of my covers that I've been painting for my, my journals. And I thought that was a fun idea if you guys are looking for that look you could just print these off and have kind of the same look and go off of that. They're like more of a back background print. So the print I'm using today, actually I printed out one of my papers and that is this one right here that I'll be showing you today. So that is this print right here. It's purples and kind of brown colors and really grungy. It's just phenomenal. And I do recommend using the right paper to print my prints on. Um, either photo paper in matte if that's your choice or Epson premium presentation paper. I have a link to that below as well. Okay, with that said, here's this beautiful journal that I made. Um, so these are, this is a chunky one. I usually don't do chunky and this tried to be an alligator, but it didn't. <laughs> I tried though uh, because I just got carried away. It's a really thick, it's the biggest, thickest journal I've ever done. It's a pretty good sized journal too as well. I did have this measured, but let's measure it again. Sorry about the noise. It is um, eight and a half long and six and a half wide. It has five signatures that are removable and I will show you that. This is two Dollar Tree picture frames that are the cover for the front and the back. And what I did is I took the glass out and the backing out and I upcycled it. And this is my print. This is not the original, but this is how awesome it looks printed out, you guys, that you can work and build off of it. It does have texture. I built off of my background. So there is encaustic wax dripping down there. You can kind of see it when I buff it up. You can see, see the shine there. And this is a rusty two that I just, I had some old wire and uh, I think it's baling wire, but I just kind of formed it into the two. And this is an old big washer, I believe. And then this is the number five in there. I enhanced it, that is on my print, so I enhanced it. And then I just put some tatty stuff over here. These were two little um, rusty hinges that I had, little tiny miniature ones. And I do note that all my rusty items in my books are sealed for safety reasons. So that's just something that I've been doing. The string wrapped around that to kind of just give it a cool effect. I grunged up the frames. This will go into the spine. 
This will be up for sale in my website soon by I think probably the end of today. This is all purple. This is purple for you purple lovers out there. I just I went off my my background page and this is kind of what I created out of it. I kind of wanted to show you um, I thought I should work it with my own prints to show you things that you can do with them so I'm kind of doing that as well. So this is a, just a key and I it's all rest it's just grunged up and there's some purple colors a really purple uh, glass bead and this is um, things I've been making I've been doing things with book plates different you know to make them charms so there's a piece of my scrap of my background back there and then I put axi glossy accents on top of that and this is from Ch uh, Tracy's new kit identification kit and um, whoever purchases this if you'd like me to change this out to uh, the first letter of your name I can do that as well uh, but I have an E on here for now and then I backed it with the aluminum foil if you guys are interested in a tutorial on that I have that in my um, on my site or my web my sorry guys YouTube here and so I show you how to back it with an uh, aluminum can or uh, the tape so this is the tape so they just give it stability and I love tags and so Tracy's so good at making tags and fun stuff like that to alter this is a butterfly that I took a mold of and I paint, hand painted it a lot of this stuff this this you guys this journal took me a long time there's a lot that went into it um, I do a lot of hand painting in my work and I take a lot of time for detail as well uh, my journals are more of an art journal and to journal in as well. It's kind of where my style has been lately. But I did a soft spine. It, I mean, it's sturdy, but I just did like a grungy fabric spine, tattered, and there's doilies and cheesecloth and tulle. Really cool um, buttons on here. I just totally went with the grungy purple theme. And then um, here's the back. And that has encaustic on it as well. So, and then just my signature. And this just has tons of texture. It's so amazing. Everything is sealed. So it'll stay in place. But I just love how it feels like when it's printed out. And then you can just build off the back. And then here's the ribbon that I grunged up. And then this is just tight on here like this. And then here is like a little clip. These are little clips that I found. Um at a store and I just rusted them up. I don't even know what they're for. They're kind of something industrial. <laughs> I use everything industrial and upcycle. So I thought it's just really cool, you know, to put this on the end as a closure. So with that said, that was a lot about the cover, right you guys? <laughs> Let's get into this. Okay, so here we go. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, so excited about this. Like I said, I put a lot of work into this journal. There are five signatures. We'll flip through the pages. Every page is exactly the same, um, with may maybe minor differences. Uh, but with that said, we'll just go through one, and then you can see the rest. So uh, I just took black paper and hand painted it. I like making these pockets out of black paper. I think the contrast with the colors that I use to complement the journal um, is fun on the black cardstock. And then I just used a stencil and kind of just put the numbers. This is kind of like a number theme. Um, I love numbers and alphabet, but it just numbers. I love it. I work, you'll see it in all of my work pretty much for the most part. But so this is with Trace's little tag. I just put it on the top there. I'm going to pull out things so you can see what's in here. This is an envelope from the Borella kit. And I just, can you see that texture on there, you guys? So I had a stencil and I just um, took some texture paste with the number five and then I kind of grunge it up a little bit keeping it to Tracy's style as well be you know and I just kind of do my thing on it and then just some little scraps in here of my um, this is actually a hand painted one this one's part of the print and just some tags that I grunged up in there just something to have in the envelope these are two um, of my prints these are scraps that I use from leftover they make awesome tags for my backgrounds and these are also Tracy's, her tickets. Those are fun. She has lots of purple stuff. <laughs> Another tag, or uh, ephemera. These are Tracy's tags. And I thought it looked, you know, my back digital backgrounds and her digitals are so amazing together. They went together well. And here's a paperclip tab. 
that I've done. I did a tutorial on these a few a couple months ago. If you guys would like to learn how I did those, I do them here and then I also do them as tabs. But I love putting that on there. It just adds, adds something different. And those are Tracy's from her new kit. And then just a piece of paper here. But I wanted you to see you guys to see the background. It's all hand painted and I wanted you to see that. This is a a paper um this is out of paper mache or not paper mache excuse me paper clay and then I just hand painted that as well as well all right you guys so here we go <laughs> put that back later so this is the first signature and this is a hand painted on the spine there as well and then each signature you guys is hand painted I took a like I said I took a lot of time with this journal it just happened that way I never know where I'm going with the journal other than I usually get inspired by the color theme that I pick so that's usually how I go about it you know I just pick a color and go from there <laughs> so I kind of did something different with painting these are have um, a texture on them that um, kind of gives it flex it's like a flexible medium and so it kind of gives that feeling of leather to it it's awesome this is a spine like I said so we'll go through the signature here's uh, Tracy's tab and her um, number her numbers from her numbers so here we go you guys so this is like I said all the signatures are the same and sorry for my phone going off there um, so we got dictionary paper this is uh, tea stain paper and then I just got put some purple on it to go with the purple theme book paper, some kind of uh, records paper, some graph paper, and then it just continues with the back pages, notebook paper, just fun. Like I said, these are, you know, like I said, I guess you'd call these a naked journal. Mine are more like the art journal and to write in, but you, you know, whoever owns this beautiful journal is welcome to do whatever. And that's kind of my thought process on these, um, you know, is to be able to use it over and over again. And that is why they're removable. So I usually do um, mine with elastic, but the elastic is, um, I didn't get any elastic in time and wanted to finish this up. So I did it with the string, the tight end string. I learned this technique from Nick the Booksmith. And so I thought, man, I thought I'd try it through the whole journal and it, it worked. And this also, I forgot, is a curved hidden spine. Uh, most people uh, do their removable signatures and they have elastic coming out of the back and there's nothing wrong with that. But I just, I am so in love with the curved spine. I'm still into that kind of look. So I build mine in my own way. Um, there wasn't a technique. I came up with my own technique on doing um, a hidden, the hidden removable signatures just because I, I like it. I like, I like to build off the back of the spine. So anyways, you just tie, they're just removable. This is wax string. So you just remove the signature like that. So, and I also made, I didn't, um, bind these into the cover, the signature cover, because if you want to take this out and you filled it up and you want to reuse it, I feel like you should be able to use these beautiful journals over. Not that I will constantly make all of my journals removable signatures but I'm having fun with it so far I probably will make some that aren't removable as well but I think it's just a nice feature that I came up with in my style so you know because I do spend a lot of work on this and I'd like to see you guys use it over but if you don't feel like that you can just leave them tied in and and put the journal away and start another so like I said every signature are the same and I have my numbers on here and I just I grunge the heck out of this you guys I loved painting it you everyone is kind of painting the same technique but it's a little bit different um, I have some writing on here they are written out words you can't really see them because I love how they're faded out but they do say things and they're inspirational so know that and like I said everything kind of goes the same and then um, this one has this part of the Lorella kit and then a purple tag back there. And there's the number three of their signature. There's the back. So these are all tied in, you guys. This one just has a little ticket on it. Like I said, we're just going through the same kind of pages. There's all kinds of different pages to work on. You can put um, 
matte medium on there, gesso. I do plaster work on my pages as well. I, I love plaster. I haven't done that in a while. I think I'm going to do something like that. Um, texture paste, modeling paste, whatever you want. You know, maybe gesso up first and then write on it. Um, this, you know, here's the center of the signature and it's just tied in like I said. And, you know, these are wax string and, and it's not going to be like, it's pretty secure when you tie it up on the top. But um, I'll show you how to tie the signature in. There's an easy way or an easier way to do it. You can have the top pop up or you can fold in the, the tied bow part and put it into your signature. Here's number four. I just love it. You try to paint the same, but it never ends up the same. That's what's so neat about art. You know, I kind of did it the, the same way, but there's something different about each signature in the front and the back. I just love how vivid this is. It's so cool. I would love this as a huge canvas. One day I'd like to get into um, large canvas painting, you know, with abstract. That would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun, you guys? <laughs> Good for me. I love painting. Painting is one of my biggest backgrounds that... Um, that I'm decent at. I, I have a big um, background in painting. I've done, I've studied a lot of different kinds of painting. Um, so my, one of my strong suits is painting and uh, photography and upcycling. But one of the one thing that I probably stay steady with is some form of painting. And so um, get to the end of number four. And then this is the last signature and there's some stitching on there as well. It's number five. And each one has one of these cool little tea stained paper with purple on the book page. So there you go. There's the back of number 10. I just love it. And so this is the back cover. And um, so the back was just um, a pocket that I usually do in the back. Here's another little Tracy's tag and I use it as the thank you. And this is like a little rusty bit here, just um, a bottle cap, and then I kind of I rest it and grunge it up. And this is one of her tickets from the Lorella kit. And then here in here, real quick, is just papers and another tag. There's just book paper and um, another little notebook paper. So that's all that's in there. Just close it back up. And then I was going to show you how to tie back in the signature. So you open your signature to the center. You'll bring up the bottom up to the top and you'll turn it upside down and you'll take it and like I said this is wax string so it should be pretty good duty string then you'll want to tie it and kind of just a little bit snug you don't want to rip anything but just kind of have a little bit of snugness to it and then you'll just tie your signature right back in you can have these hanging out or you can just kind of fold it in and close it as that so there you go, you guys. Um, I love this journal. I think it's really cool. I think it was so fun to work with one of my own digital prints. I hope you guys are having fun working with digital prints. Um, it's been fun having a website. I, it's been some challenges, but we got them worked through, hopefully. And I hope you guys are enjoying my prints. And please head over to Tracy. She's a phenomenal uh, person inside and out and she makes the most wonderful kits that we all enjoy to work with her everything is so amazing they all work together well as long as well as with my uh, digital backgrounds they just fit and married perfectly I hope everybody's having a great week uh, sorry I've been gone for a couple of weeks I've been helping my parents and my in-laws with their property and today we're kind of working around our property as well so it's kind of been just kind of a busy month just heading into fall it's beautiful out here um, I know I have got to get back to a few of you people with your comments and I apologize for that thank you for sticking by my side thank you for all my new subs I appreciate each and every one of you and I think I have something coming up I'll let you know more about that um, in a couple days but with that said, we will let you go. You've stayed long enough, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.